back to faith connection. So hopefully you've had a really good week even though you've had to stay at home and hopefully you maybe got outside to play some games or maybe go for a walk with the dog or your mum or dad. So hopefully you had loads to do even though you weren't at school this week. And I hope you've learnt your memory verse from last week and if you have feel free to send your video through so we can see it and if you did any activity sheets or some colouring in sheets you can send those through too and we'll be able to post those up on the Facebook page. So. Before we start this week, I want to start off with a word of prayer. So everyone put your hands up and bring your hands down. And as you do that, I want you to close your eyes, close your mouths and bow your head and we're going to talk to God. So dear God, thank you for another Sunday morning that we can come and read your word. I pray you would help us to listen really carefully and focus on what you are trying to tell us. In Jesus' name, Amen. So this week our story is going to be about Noah's Ark. So again, if you don't have your Bible in front of you, I want you to go and get it so that we can start reading God's Word and then come back and get comfy, okay? So you can pause the video just like you did last week if you forgot it. So we're starting at Genesis chapter 6, verse 11. People on earth did what God said was evil and violence was everywhere. When God saw that everyone on the earth did only evil, he said to Noah, because people have made the earth full of violence, I will destroy all of them from the earth. Build a boat of cypress wood for yourself and make rooms in it and cover it inside and outside with tar. This is how big I want you to build the boat. 150 meters long, 25 meters wide and 15 meters high. Make an opening around the top of the boat that is 50 centimeters high from the edge of the roof down. Put a door in the side of the boat. Make an upper, middle and lower deck in it. I will bring a flood of water on the earth to destroy all living things that live under the sky, including everything that has the breath of life. Everything on the earth will die, but I will make an agreement with you. You, your sons, your wife and your sons' wives will all go into the boat. Also, you must bring into the boat two of every living thing, male and female. Keep them alive with you. Two of every kind of bird, animal and crawling thing will come to you to be kept alive. Also, gather some of every kind of food and store it on the boat as food for you and the animals. And Noah did everything that God commanded him. So Noah had all these instructions to follow and God told him exactly how to build the boat. And once he had built the boat and once he had built the ark, he was able to go into it with all his family and all the animals and God kept them safe while the flood was on the earth. But at the end of the flood and once it stopped raining, God kept his promise to Noah and showed him dry land where he could come out again and he was able to live on the earth again. But even though there was loads of people who didn't obey God's commands, Noah always listened to God and followed his instructions. Now we don't know exactly if anyone said anything to Noah, but maybe we can imagine that some people thought he was a bit strange or a bit silly building a boat. They maybe thought it was a bit strange that someone had told them or God had told them that this flood was coming and no one else maybe believed him. But despite anyone else saying anything or maybe even doubts from his family, Noah still followed the instructions God gave him and he followed them exactly the way God told him to. So hopefully you have your blindfold with you and your pencil and your maze. And if you have that all sitting ready, I want you to make sure you have someone else with you. So maybe it's an older brother or an older sister or your mum or dad because you're going to need two people to do this activity. Okay, so I'm going to use my mum for this one. Okay, so once they're sitting down all comfortable, I want you to put the blindfold on them and make sure you don't tie it too tight. Okay, is that okay? Yep. Yep, tight enough? Mm, a little tighter maybe before it pulls off. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay. So the person who is wearing the blindfold, you are going to be the person drawing through the maze. So the person who's not wearing the blindfold, you are going to be their guide and you have to help them go through the maze even when they can't see. So give them the pencil in their hand and set the pencil right at the start for them. Okay, so I'm going to guide mum through this and then once I try it, you can have a go with whoever you're with as well. Okay, so I want you to draw to the right and keep going. Yep, yeah. and stop. Okay. And I want you to go down. Keep going down. And up. Yep. And go to the left. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And up. And down. Okay. Keep going down. Yep. And stop. And go to the right. Okay. Go to the right. Yep. And keep going down. Down. Okay. And turn to the left. Okay. And up. And uh, keep going a little bit more. And go down. Yep. And go down. Mm -hmm. Go down. I need to get that first. Go down. But I go need down. to get the phone. Go down. Okay. And then to the right. get the phone. To the right. To the right. I need to get that. Go down to the right. the phone. Keep going to the right and stop and go up and turn okay. left. Turn left. Yep, keep going. Okay. And go up. Yep. And turn right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Keep going. Yep. And turn go up. Yep. Keep going up. Yep. And turn to the right. Okay. And go down. Catherine, there's the door. Go down. Well, really, we really need to see what's happening at the door. Go down. Go down. But I would need to check the door. I really seriously would need to check Go the door. Down. Go down. And what if it's really right. important? Turn to the right. Well, now they're right. really annoying the dog, so we'd really need to go and see turn what's happening right. the, at the door. And go down. Oh, and down. 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 Where do I have to go? Down. I and need to, to go and right. sort the dogs. Right, okay. And go up. Right. And to the right. Okay. And you're finished. Okay. Okay. No Take the blindfold off. Can it just slide off? There yep. we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, how did you find that? Actually, a wee bit harder than I thought. Okay. And did you think it was going to be easy? Yes. Okay. I did. And it wasn't what you expected? No. Okay. And how did you find it with the blindfold on? Even harder. Okay. The blindfold leaves you very uncertain of what, where, where you're at, mm -hmm. or how far you've come, mm -hmm. and what's ahead of you. You can't really see what's ahead of you, so you can't work it out visually by looking at it. Mm -hmm. to see it, it, where in the maze you might be and to think it through. You can't really think for yourself. Mm -hmm. So because I couldn't think for myself to, to make those decisions, I had no option but to try and listen to you to tell me where to go. Yep. And how did you find it with all the things going off? Like A the nightmare. The doorbell and the phone. Did you find That's those really hard. distracting? Yes. Yeah. That was really hard because... It made me think that there was something else happening at the same time that was really important. So that could be more important to do or to, or somebody could be looking something important. So I should really be answering the phone or maybe going to the door. Mm -hmm. And as soon as the noise of that started, it actually sounded quite loud, which meant your voice wasn't as loud as what was happening mm -hmm. when as the phone was ringing. And I lost my place because of it. I lost lost where it was supposed to be on the page so I would imagine wherever my pencil line is on those spots might be a wee bit off because I kind of moved I lifted and I moved it a bit it was really it was going quite smoothly when there was nothing else happening so I was able to listen and then go nice and smoothly and quickly but as soon as the noise came in mm -hmm. then it distracted I couldn't quite make out or wasn't sure as far as where I was going and because I can't see 
and then I wasn't able to rely on your voice as quickly or as much because the noise was there. That made it really hard. Yep. Okay. So thanks very much. Thank hey. you for all your help. So hopefully you had a wee go at that, but if not, you can try again later. But now to relate to that, to the story of Noah, just like Noah had to obey the instructions that God gave him and he obeyed them, we have to listen to God's instructions for our life and we have to try our best to obey them. So I want you to pretend that the maze is a bit like our life. Now the maze isn't a straight line down from the start to the finish. There's loads of different turns and twists that we have to get through as well as obstacles. Just like our life, life isn't straightforward. There's always going to be hard times and difficult times that we have to get through. But God promises that he will give us instructions and he will be our guide through life. And we have to listen to the instructions he gives us. But sometimes there can be distractions in our life. When things come up in our life that may seem more important than God and we start to put them as a priority instead of listening to God. Just when mum was trying to listen to my instructions, there was different sounds coming up like the doorbell or the phone ringing and then dog barking. Those things started to seem more important than listening to my instructions. And just like in life, sometimes there can be things that come up that seem more important than listening to God. And even though God is always there, always willing to give us instruction and to help us through life, it's our fault when we don't listen to him. But God promises that he will always be there, no matter what. And even though we don't know what's going to happen in our life, even though we don't know what's going to happen in the future, God already knows. And that's why we need to listen to him and trust him with everything that's going on. Okay? So what I want you to remember, anytime you maybe do a maze or, or get lost, you have to rely on God because he will give you the instruction to get through life. So you just have to listen to what he is saying and not let other things become the distraction. So you can try that loads and loads of times um, with whoever you are with, okay? So what I want you to remember as well that even though we have to listen to God as well and we can talk to him, we also have to read his word because God promises that everything that is in his word helps us to get through life. We can learn about him, but in the Bible, God also helps us to get through life and gives us instructions about how we should live. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off with a word of prayer again. So put your hands up and bring them down, close your eyes and close your mouths and we're going to talk to God. Dear God, thank you for another week that we can just listen to you and learn from your word. Help us this week with whatever we come up against. And I pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. Okay. So we're going to have another memory verse this week as well as a few activity sheets for you to try. So I'll see you next week and have a good week. See ya. Jesus in all things